Hey, Arthur. Got your 6105 here. Um, the way I normally do these videos is I have the watch flipped over with the case back off so that I can um, show you the movement. Uh, I haven't done that yet because I, for a few reasons, I don't really need to. Um, okay, let's see if I can get my thoughts in gear. Sorry, your watch kind of derailed me. 6105s are great watches. 6105-8110 is an iconic dive watch of the 70s um, for a bunch of reasons. They're just, they're beautifully designed. They're lovely to look at. The asymmetric case is great. Uh, they're worth more every single day. Um, and they're cool. They have, however, a couple design flaws. And one of those design flaws that they corrected in the later 6309 is they don't seal particularly well. I mean, this is a 150 meter dive watch and they don't seal particularly well. They have a non-locking crown. I mean, it sort of locks, quote unquote, by sort of not turning anymore, but you can pull the crown in and out. Click, 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 click. It doesn't screw down. Also, the seal in the crown is integrated with that crown. You can't replace it. In the later 6309, they made two improvements. They made it so the crown is a screw down and they made it so that you can replace the seal. So the problem now with the 6105 um, is that if you want to replace the seal, you have to replace the whole crown. Back in the old days, when you could get crowns from any parts warehouse, that wasn't a big deal. You just did it. Still kind of a pain, but whatever. Um, now the crowns are impossible to find. Impossible to find. Um, I have some new old stock, and I'm extremely lucky to have them. And when I sell them, they sell for a lot of money. Um, but as a side effect of this situation with these being dive watches and they're not having a very good crown um, seal, you get what normally happens is you actually, you tend to see these, they almost never look like this. Uh, they tend to have destroyed dials. So I'm talking about this because this is really what good looks like. In fact, this is what amazingly good looks like. Normally with the 6105, the crown seal fails and you get moisture inside and the Seiko loom is salt based and so it attracts the moisture and it starts turning gray and then it starts turning black and you get dials that look like this if you're lucky if you'll notice that is all kinds of gross and I've seen them where they just where this is just completely black to the point that there's like corrosion and fungus just erupting out of these loom pits and it eats into this dial surface and it's just awful. And that's what the vast majority of these 6105s look like. Not this one. Look, what happens is the moisture gets in and then it condenses on the underside of the crystal. And then the closer the loom is to that moisture on the underside of the crystal, the more quickly it goes, goes black. So the sweep hand will go black. Then the minute hand will start going black right here in the center because the moisture wicks in from this middle part here. Then this hand will go back black, and then the dial will start to go. So to see a 6105 where all the loom is perfectly white, even the sweep hand, and the sweep hand, the stoplight, these were originally sort of a reddish pink and white. They fade to a pink. Where that pink is still there, it's almost never seen. Um, extremely, extremely rare to see for a watch that was not like this, this watch was clearly worn. I mean, it's got wear to the insert, and there's a little bit of wear to the case, but nothing unattractive. It's got grok on it. It's got, uh, you know, from having been worn, the case back, the, in the crevices in the case back, it's it's brown and gross. It's going to need to be cleaned up. It's never been opened. I don't know when the last time it was opened, if ever. I haven't opened it yet, because um, I wanted to talk about this. But it's like, it is so unusual and amazing to see a watch in this condition, especially with that pink. It's just mind-blowing. Um, so I can tell you, therefore, uh, moisture never got into this watch. And that bodes very well for the movement. Um, I did get the movement up and running. Just by hand shaking. Winding it by hand. So it might... But even with that, it tells us everything we need to know. It's got low amplitude. But I mean, it's clearly original. It's never been serviced. But look clean you get clean relatively straight you got a little bit of bead error but there's no snow there's no problem there's no issue it's it's good it's it's this is a great watch to work with 
I, I guess I'm taking this as an opportunity to basically talk about with these watches what good looks like. And that when you're buying a Seiko watch or you're looking for a vintage Seiko, especially a Seiko diver, this is what good looks like. That's a that's a mind blower of a watch. It's gonna be great. Yes, it's got some wear, but all the stuff that's important, the stuff that really matters, the loom, the hands, hand condition. You can't fake that stuff. And it almost always goes bad. And, but not here, not with this watch. That is really great. I, it's just a privilege to see something like this. It's not new old stock. It's lived a working life, but it was never abused and moisture never got inside. And that is extremely important. That's just really great. In the years to come, Watches like this are already extremely rare. In the years to come, they're going to be impossible to find. They're never going to show up in this condition. Um, it's, it's a privilege to see. What a nice piece. Okay. Thank you much. I would, by the way, recommend, strongly recommend, not only the new case back seal and a new crystal seal and a new crystal and the full case rebuild, but I would strongly encourage you to talk me out of a new old stock crown for this to keep sealing it. Otherwise, because the crown that's in this, the seal that's in this crown is decades old and it won't protect that beautiful loom at all. And water gets in. I've seen original loom in this condition. I've seen original loom go bad in an afternoon. I've seen it happen. Um, and I'm not the only one. It's definitely something to be aware of. You want to keep water away from this watch because that loom is reactive. You want to protect this thing. Okay. Thank you so much.